How to update your store settings in CustomCat. Your store settings in your CustomCat account include important information such as the payment method we'll use for your orders, email address for support responses, and information we'll print on your address labels. To update your store settings in CustomCat, click Settings in the left navigation menu of your account or from the helpful Quick Links box on your account dashboard. This will bring you to your general account settings. Then select your store from the drop-down menu on the right side of the screen. On your store settings page, you'll notice three sections, store, shipping, and orders. Within the store tab of your store settings page, you'll find contact information associated with your store, store payment information, and shipping label information. An important area of your store settings information is your support email address. Responses to any support tickets you submit through the support module for this store will be sent to the email entered here. Please be sure this is an email address you check regularly and that it's spelled correctly before saving your settings. Within the Payment Information section, you'll see your chosen method of payment. By default, your primary payment method you entered in your account settings is selected here. This payment method can be changed at any time. When your customer places an order in your online store, they will pay you the full purchase price plus shipping. However, we are uninvolved in that transaction. When your order is processed by CustomCat, you will be charged the base cost of the items in the order and any associated shipping cost. This charge will be applied to the method of payment you enter here. Within your store settings, you can also enter return label information, which will update the address noted on your order's shipping labels. This will ensure your customers associate your business with the order. Our shipping partners will only accept valid U.S. addresses in this field. If you do not enter a valid U.S. address in this field, the CustomCat business address will be entered by default, coupled with your store name. Please note that carrier discretion applies if your packages are returned to sender for any reason. At times, parcels that are marked return to sender may be returned to their shipping origin address at CustomCat rather than the address on your return label. We are unable to offer reshipment of orders that are returned to sender. If packages are returned to our address, they will be donated. If you make any changes to this section, please remember to click Update at the bottom of that section before moving on. Next, we'll move on to the Shipping section of your store settings. Here, you'll enter the names of the shipping profiles you created in your online store. To do so, click the Add button, type the name of the profile, and select the shipping method you'd like us to use when your customer selects that method from your store. For example, if you're offering both economy and expedited shipping in your store, you'll need to enter the expedited shipping profile here so our system recognizes the name of the profile when an order is placed. Please be sure the shipping method you enter is an exact match to the shipping profile you created in your online store. If our system does not find an exact match for the shipping profile your customer selects, the order will be shipped economy by default. For that reason, there is no need to enter economy shipping profiles here. If you're offering expedited shipping in your Etsy shop, you'll need to enable shipping upgrades in the shipping settings of your Etsy shop manager and edit your individual shipping profiles to include shipping upgrade options. You can find more information on this process in Etsy's help articles. Lastly, let's review the orders section. In this section, You'll decide how you want your orders to be processed by CustomCat. By default, we will process orders automatically every two hours. You will be charged for any orders that are processed in that batch via the payment method entered earlier. That means your payment method will be charged once for the total of all orders processed in that batch. If you'd prefer to process your orders manually, please select No from the drop-down menu and Save Changes. If you select this option, you will be required to manually process each of your orders from your pending queue. 
We will not fulfill any orders and you will not be charged unless these orders are manually processed from your pending queue. We'll review this process a little later. In addition to general order processing, you can also determine whether to automatically process orders that have entered your error queue due to an out-of-stock item once that additional stock arrives. If you'd like to have these orders automatically processed, please select Yes from the drop-down menu. Please note that other types of errors, like shipping address errors or banned designs, will not be automatically processed from your error queue once resolved, regardless of which option you select here. Additionally, we are unable to process orders placed more than 60 days prior, as the order information can no longer be retrieved from your e-commerce platform. And that's it. You've now reviewed and updated your store settings. You're ready to start selling. For more Custom Cat tutorials, plus frequently asked questions, tips, tricks, and more, visit customcat.com.